I think the hepatitis is an evolving field, and uh, for many years there was a debate whether it's primarily a barrier disease uh, or primarily an immune-driven disease. And there was not a clear-cut answer because the only way to prove it is actually to target specifically the immune system and to show that you reverse the barrier. And that was not possible really until dupilumab because um, there were some hints towards it. There were some immune-based treatments like cyclosporin and a, a methotrexate and a ephalizumab that were tried for atopic dermatitis, and they all work. However, they do have some effects on a keratinocytes, and also they are very broad, so it's not really proving the immune hypothesis. To prove the immune hypothesis, you need to take a single cytokine or two cytokines, like in this case, target them, and then show that basically you reverse the barrier, and that's proving the immune hypothesis. And that's exactly what happened here, because with dupilumab, we showed that not only the clinical disease activity was reversed, but by suppressing the cytokines, you also reversed major features of the barrier, such as the thickness, the epidermal hyperplasia, the S100s that are very increased, and you showed the trend to improve filagrin and lorecrine. 